Hello everybody and welcome again to another video of our Road to Master Ball series March edition here. My name is Griever84 and as always we have been doing double battles uh, in Sor or Sword and Shield, uh, specifically Shield here. Uh, but uh, we have tweaked our team from the last couple of videos. Uh, when I say tweaked, we basically made sure that, you know, uh, some Pokemon had certain abilities and that Dynamax candies had been applied because, as some of you had noticed, uh, I'd forgotten to Dynamax candy a uh, good old Dragapult down there. And, of course, I noticed that Duskull did not have its Frisk ability, which has all been fixed. <clears throat> but let's jump back into battles today and see how the meta's doing so far this month. Uh, we're... Doing a lot better this month with our team than we did starting out last month, uh, where we had a string of losses and had to switch the team up to actually start gaining some momentum. Uh, but, you know, we're doing pretty good at the moment. So, as always, you guys can uh, hit that subscribe button if you like the content. Make sure to leave a like in the video down below, or also comment on anything about that you're going to see in the video today or any questions that you might have uh, that are Pokemon related. So, let's look at my opponent's team here. Possible Trick Room in Mimikyu and Rhyperior, but for the most part, I think we're going to go... Incineroar, Togekiss. Um, yeah, I think we'll do this. We'll clear the way for Dragapult to uh, to sweep with, or at least that's gonna be the idea. <clears throat> uh, we'll use Incineroar, Militic, and uh, Togekiss to weaken my opponent. And then eventually we will bring out a Dynamax Dragapult to clean up and win the battle. All right, let's see what we got here. Lapras and Mimikyu. All right, and that's a shiny Lapras. All right, I dig it. All right, so we are going to fake out the Lapras and we will Dazzling Gleam to break the Mimikyu disguise. Now I'm assuming the Lapras, it, yeah, the Lapras is gonna be the one Dynamaxing here, which I anticipated might happen which means the fake out isn't really gonna do anything, but it's gonna be damage on it anyways, because we couldn't fake out the mimic. So while things are playing out the way I anticipated on this first turn, uh, you know, it's still not a bad move. <clears throat> All right, critical hit on Lapras. Disguise is broken. All right, let's see what mimic you does. G-Max Resonance. If I remember right, this actually sets up uh, screens. Yep, it sets up Aurora Veil. Okay. And then Trick Room. Okay. I anticipated this being a possibility. That had to have been a room service item. Interesting. Okay, Snarl and... I don't think Togekiss is gonna be able to do anything here, but we're still gonna, we're still gonna hit Dazzling Gleam anyways. <coughs> Shadow Claw, which will take me out. Max Geyser. That's gonna hurt. Eh, half health. That's not bad from a max move. And 
and then snarl. All right, we'll bring out Militic. And then what I'm gonna do is because Lapras is still Dynamaxed, I'm just going to Snarl again, and I'm actually going to Scald the Mimikyu. Shadow Claw, basically trying to ensure that Incineroar is gonna die is what it looks like. But I'll get the Snarl off. <clears throat> Max Lightning, interesting choice. But does little to no damage because <laughs> of the double snarl. But my opponent is doing this in anticipation of me using Hypnosis, which is a smart move because most. Most uh, Militic that you see these days are actually running Hypnosis, uh, but mine's not. That is that is my my ace up my sleeve for running this team, is that I don't actually run Hypnosis, which a lot of people expect. Alright, so we've survived my opponent's uh, Dynamax. I'm still trying to get this Mimikyu off the field and wait out uh, Trick Room. Oof, just barely surviving. And there goes my Berry to give me some health back. Surf at minus two. Kind of wish Incineroar had some more healing, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. <clears throat> Critical hit on the Mimikyu. Alright, so minus three Lapras so far. There we go, and the Trick Room user is gone. Perfect. All right, let's see what they bring in. Now, um, my opponent health-wise still has more... Like, they have more HP uh, to their advantage. But, let's see here. How many turns of Trick Room are left? One turn of Trick Room. So... I think I'm going to Snarl again. And they've already done Dynamax, so we'll Scald the Rhyperior. Now, this will probably activate its weakness policy. But that's okay. Because if I get a burn, then, you know... Minus three thunder is going to do nothing. Yep, there goes the Rhyperior. I was assuming it was going to be enough to one-hit KO it, but, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, basically, what I was setting up for is if, for some reason, I didn't KO that Rhyperior, then uh, Trick Room was ending this turn, and I was bringing Dragapult onto the field. So I was going to be able to Dynamax and KO it. Alright, so Dynamax, Max Wormwind, take out the Conkledur, and I guess we'll Muddy Water for the spread. I think that'll be the smart move, because if my opponent protects this turn, which uh, Conkledurs are often known for now, especially with the Mewtwo event over where Flame Orbs become very common, uh, it's not surprising to see it use Protect here to activate that Guts ability. Oh, no Protect though, okay. Um... 
No, it wouldn't. Actually, yeah, that could be assault vest. Because this is actually special attack. Uh, special attack Dragapult. <clears throat> Ice Beam. It's not going to do anything because of the minus three special attack. Oof. The rain stopped. Uh, we're going to max whirlwind again, and I'll actually recover on Militic. There we go, and the last major threat has been removed. So just like we planned, you know, use my initial three Pokemon to weaken my opponent, and then bring Dragapult in to basically sweep whatever's left. Parish Song. If I remember right, though, Parish Song would cause my opponent to lose. That's a ruling I'll probably have to look up uh, after the vid, uh, you know, for after the video here. But definitely an interesting choice of moves there. Uh, the good thing to note, though. Uh, that I didn't think about earlier is when I actually used my water move it didn't heal the Lapras because Lapras can have water absorb so I'm assuming this is probably a uh, uh, it was probably an RNG manipulated uh, G Max Lapras den so you know it's gonna have uh, it's hidden ability of hydration, you know, good IVs, shiny, uh, and of course they caught it in a Master Ball as well, so. And the, and now mind you, I'd completely forgotten about it, my opponent had set up Aurora Veil on the first turn, so I had taken my opponent out through, uh, <laughs> through the Veil this entire battle. There we go. And the final KO before the Paris song went off. All right. Well, good job to my opponent, but we came out on top. Um, the battle really kind of played out exactly like I thought it would. So, nothing really to comment there, or comment on there, I should say. Uh, just gotta get into the next battle here. Now, I do want to make a bit of a, a shout out here, shout out here to uh, GamerCal, uh, who actually commented on our last video. Uh, he's a fellow content creator that I've known for a very long time. But uh, he actually reached Master Ball this month in nine battles. And here we are, eight and eight, or uh, eight battles in, and we still got a whole tier to eat through. So, <clears throat> um, no trick room this time, but definitely, let's see, that's going to be probably Imprison Chandelure. So yeah, we'll follow the same strategy here using Incineroar, Togekiss, and Militic to weaken my opponent, and then Dragapult to clean up afterwards. I'm anticipating a Whimsicott Durant start. That's going to be my guess. Uh, and they're probably going to use Tailwind with Brankster. Um, and a Dynamax Durant. So if they do, my idea is to fake out the Whimsicott and then scald the Durant and hope for a burn proc. 
that'll be my ideal first turn. Ooh, Chandelure. Okay. So they probably brought out Chandelure seeing the Dusclops and Rhyperior on my team. Uh, anticipating that. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, do I want to do a Flare Blitz right off the bat? Pokemon. The only Pokemon I'd be worried about switching in is already on the field. So we're going to Flare Blitz the Durant and we will Heat Wave as well. They're actually going for the Dynamax. Now, I misspoke a little bit there at the beginning of the, the beginning of this battle, thinking I had uh, Militic coming out, and I forgot I had uh, Togekiss, so... Ooh, that hurts. That's gonna be the end of my... That's gonna be the end of my uh, Incineroar as soon as he attacks. But... He's going to get a nice, healthy Flare Blitz off before he does. Okay, there's the Heat Wave. Okay, Flash Fire. Okay, and the Flare Blitz to ensure the KO. Oh, you're going to hit my Incineroar. Oh, you're not. Oh, you should have... Oh, no, my poor opponent. Totally should have went for the Incineroar KO. That's unfortunate. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so now I know I don't need to do, use any more fire moves because the Chandelier has Flash Fire as its ability. And I do not want to boost it up anymore. Uh, we're just going to Snarl and... I think I'm actually going to air slash that Togekiss and try to get a good critical. That's definitely a bulky boy. Okay. That's going to be a double KO. Oh, wow. I did not anticipate to survive that. Uh, snarl to lower everyone's special attacks. Alright, we'll bring in Militic. And I'll actually go... I think I'm going to go for the Muddy Water here for the spread. We'll go for the double spread moves. Uh, now, I don't anticipate Incineroar actually being able to get an attack off. <coughs> But we'll see what happens. Now remember, I am still in a position to Dynamax. Okay, my opponent pieces out. Brings in their Militic. Dazzling Gleam goes off. Please let that be the Togekiss. I, okay, it was the Militic that I hit, okay. Oh, and it's competitive, oh goodness. I am in a bit of a pickle here. And the reason I say that is because of that opposing Togekiss. So, this'll be a very interesting turn. What I should have done is I should have scalded the Togekiss. No effect. Uh, Max Phantasm. Yeah, we'll just go for the double, the double skull, or the double attack here. <clears throat> it's 
it's gonna be my best bet because I have to make sure that <laughs> the other Togekiss does not get a fairy attack off because that's gonna hurt. Now one thing I could have done here is I could have not Dynamaxed, protected for a turn to do, oh, I should, okay. So what I should have done is protected, uh, used, um, Scald, and gotten the Togekiss within Oh, yeah, I screwed up big time there. And there wasn't much I could do because I needed to Dynamax to... Mm. Yeah, I kind of outplayed myself this battle, to be honest. Um, my opponent's got plus four to their special attack. I mean, I might be able to weather this out, but it's going to be... It's going to be a long battle because we're both competitive uh, militics. My opponent's running Ice Beam and Scald, I assume. Uh, I'm not going to run mu or I'm not going to hit Muddy Water anymore, knowing full well that I could activate it again. Okay, helping hand. Probably Energy Ball. Yep. Yeah. Outplayed myself on that one. Um, a lot of it just came down to that turn where I should have held off Dynamaxing. Um, I, I honestly should have held off Dynamaxing as long as possible till I could have gotten rid of that uh, Militic. But you win some, you lose some. And you definitely lose some points. <laughs> Alright, but with that, we wipe the slate. We go right into the next battle here against Lewis. And what do we got here, Lewis? Alright, so we have... We have a lot. Okay, so I th think... You know what? My opponent really doesn't have anything against Trick Room here. So I think I'm actually going to run Trick Room. Um, we're going to bring Togekiss for the Dragapult counter. And Incineroar would do a lot of work here. So we're going to do that. All right, so the idea is standard Trick Room setup, uh, Dynamax, Rhyperior, Activate Weakness Policy, do as much sweeping as I can, and then clean up with uh, Incineroar and Togekiss. Macho Brace and Leak. Okay, so this is not a... This is not a Screens Grimmsnarl. So we're going to Trick Room, we're going to Dynamax, and we're going to... Yeah. Max Rockfall the Grimmsnarl to set... Set my Screens. Uh, what is Dynamaxing here? I didn't pay attention to the Pokeballs at the start. I think this is the Surfetched. Yep, surfetched. <clears throat> okay. I was like, I know I hit Dynamax. Here's hoping my opponent does not critically hit me for all my health. And that's what I was afraid of, was a taunt. 
Okay, Max Knuckle. Gonna be quote unquote super effective. So that activates my weakness policy. Um, I cannot use Trick Room. I cannot use Will O Wisp. I cannot use, or I can use Bulldoze. And I can use Nightshade. All right, so we're just gonna get rid of that Grim Snarl. <coughs> I mean, that was a pretty smart move by my opponent rather than going for any attack. I wondered, even with a... It's, Macho Brace is just a weird item to use in in ranked battles. But... Alright, Togekiss. Um... Okay, can only use the moves that deal damage, so I guess we'll Nightshade and Max Rockfall again. I'd love to be able to boost my special defense, but... Mold Breaker, okay. Floats in the air with Air Balloon, alright. That is a really, really slow Excadrill if it's moving after my right period. Well, uh, no, it just switched in. I'm sorry. I stand corrected. I was like, something about this does not seem right. <laughs> okay, and then... We'll Nightshade again, and I'm actually going to Max Guard this turn uh, to waste out the last turn of my opponent's uh, Dynamax and not allow them to get another attack boost. <laughs> Granted, it's going to waste my last turn of Dynamax, but it will keep Rhyperior alive. Okay, Iron Head into Dusclops, Max Knuckle which was expected, especially since my opponent can't hit Dusclops with Max Knuckle anyways. And that will take care of the Excadrill. Now, here is some fun tech. So both of us are about to un-Dynamax, right? And I just used Max Guard. Max Guard counts as a separate move compared to Protect. So, I will be able to Protect this turn and Trick Room. Which will mean, even though this Surfetch has plus two attack, it won't matter. Okay, there's the Protect. Dazzling Gleam. He called the Protect. Oof. Alright, alright. Fair enough. Alright, so we're actually going to switch in Incineroar here. We can Surfetch a little bit here. And... Alright, Incineroar into Togekiss. 
And then Rhyperior for a Rock Slide. Assuming Rhyperior is even going to be able to attack. Because I'm assuming a Dazzling Gleam will knock it out at this point. But since my opponent can't switch, this would be a perfect opportunity for Togekiss to take a resisted attack here from the plus two uh, Surfetched, and then I can bring Incineroar back in to bring it back down to normal attack. And it even weakens its uh, defenses with that. All right, now let's see if I can pull this off. Okay, I would like an air slash into you and I would like you to do nothing. So Surfetch is back down to normal attack, and I'm going to be able to fake out Togekiss to ensure that it doesn't get a Dazzling Gleam off this turn, and then my Togekiss should be faster than Surfetched, and I'm hoping a uh, Air Slash Critical will, will knock it out. That's the turn I'm hoping for. Alright, there's the fake out. There's the Air Slash. And there's the knockout. Didn't even need the critical. Um, I think we're just going to keep using Air Slash because of the high critical rate. And then I'll Snarl to weaken its special attacks. It avoided the attack. Wow. That is unfortunate. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, not missing or missing that attack makes a huge difference here. Um, Cause Incineroar isn't necessarily equipped to deal with this, but I think we can still pull out a victory here. So Flare Blitz. And it's got Yawn of all things. Alright. Luckily our Flare Blitz was enough to finish it off there. Otherwise that was about to become a very messy battle. But good job to my opponent. GG's all around. Uh, we did good today. Uh, our, our team's uh, doing a lot better. I'm, I'm doing a lot better as a battler. I hope you guys are, you know, learning because of the, you know, the, the commentary I'm giving in these videos. Uh, it certainly helps for me to learn as is, you know, to give back to the community as well. Uh, we are currently five and five. Um, Go ahead and update our rank here and see where we're at but as always you know make sure you hit that subscribe button click the bell notification to give yourselves alerts for all of my uploads um leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the battles today and of course comment down below on anything that you saw questions that you might have or uh battle techniques you have questions about uh, but thank you guys for all your support as always Take care, see you guys in the next battle video, and GG, good luck battling.